Hi everyone, today I'm going to be reviewing Love and Hip Hop Hollywood Season 3, Episode 4. So we have Max, he's just trying to focus on his music and not the fact that his wife took their baby's money and put it into a clothing store. So he's like, he can't just, he just cannot get his head around it. Like he gives her everything, she didn't have to do that, but still she went out and did it anyway. So he's like, I'm just going to focus on my music. He hasn't been home in like three or four nights. It's like, he just don't want to talk to her like... He just knows if he's gonna talk to her, if they talk and he's in, they're in the same room, he's gonna get mad. He's gonna get mad all over again. Ray hearing this is like he thought they had the best marriage, but I'm like, was you not their last season the way they was acting? Him throwing his engagement ring, her running after him, him doggo having to back up because she likes to jump in front of cars and own cars. So these are the people that she was looking like. Did they had the best marriage? Is that what you're saying, right? But anyways. So now he's questioning his relationship with um, Princess. See, it, this is all Brady's fault. See, you lied. You got caught. Well, I guess you, you told about your lie after, you know, it was revealed that you stole your baby's money. And now you got other people questioning their relationship because something you did in your relationship. See, Brady, this is why you don't lie. Because now you're hurting everybody. Now, I thought it was going to be that Max is going to be mad at Ray. Like, okay, dog, you my friend. And you knew that my wife stole my son's money and you didn't say anything about it. But he's not even mad at Ray. He's mad at Brandy, which he should because you took your baby's money. Like, you should have had this conversation with your husband before you took the money. And like he said, like, when have I ever, when have I ever said no to you? So now Ray's like, man, like, I'm questioning my relationship with Princess. So Masika tells Jason Lee and Nia that, hey... I don't want to do this, but Fetty Wap been acting extra lately, so I'm going to file a paternity suit against him. And she's saying that, like, out of the clear blue sky, he called, like, he want to be in the delivery room when she gives birth. Now, here's my thing about the whole Fetty Wap, like, not claiming her baby. If, was they in, like, these are the questions I need to know. Were they in a committed relationship? Because if, if this was one of those, like, we got drunk and got together, he don't know her. He don't know who she's been, been with. And, like, naturally, okay, I got a little bit of money. Um, am I the father? I don't know because I don't know what you're doing. We're not living together. We're not actually together, boyfriend, girlfriend, in a committed relationship. So I don't know. But then on the other hand, it's like, I was with you. This is my baby. Like, you have a chance to, like, yes, brown time, conception, we was together. But still, I can see him being like, um, I don't know because we weren't actually boyfriend and girlfriend kind of situation. But she was like, I never wanted this, you know, for my baby. I wanted us to, you know, be, I, I want my baby to know who their father was. And, like, she stressed, like, they have been having all these arguments on social media. And I have told y'all before, social media will get you into some trouble. Because you in your feelings and you mad and you all on Twitter and Instagram and saying this, that, the third. For the world to hear what you're, like the world to know what you're going through. Then y'all make up. Then people are like, hold up, didn't he do this about you? Wasn't he denying your baby? Didn't you say this, that, and the third? See, like that's why people need to keep their relationship off of social media for this exact reason here. Sorry, why are you wearing a fur coat in Los Angeles? Why are you riding down the street like you're in a music video? I'm like, where were the other cars at on the street? Because he's all on this like motorcycle like thing. He's popping wheelies. He's standing up. There's like only another motorcycle behind him. I'm like, we just do this on the streets and there's no other cars. There's not a police to first. These are things I needed to know. He was acting extra. But my thing that got me, I'm like, why are we wearing furs? Even if this was taped, a, I'll say, in December. It's California. There is never a time in Los Angeles where you need a fur coat. Yet he's sitting there with a fur coat with no shirt on. Like, is this like, I got money so I have a fur? Is this what we're doing? Because, like, this shows that I have money that I have a fur on. You look ridiculous. I need to know why didn't somebody sit you down and tell you, like, bro, you look ridiculous. Why do you have this fur coat on? And he was acting extra when his, he did a little interview and he was just like, like he had too much caffeine in his system. And he's like trying to make it on his own after Nicki Minaj and broke up with him. But like he doesn't want, you know, people to just always ask him questions. Like, 
Truth be told, Safari, if it wasn't for her, wouldn't nobody know who you was. Not trying to be mean, just telling it like it is. But I could not deal with him. I could not deal with Nikki. So I don't, unless something else happens, I don't think I'm going to be talking about these two. Because this seemed like a little forced and put together kind of situation. He was acting too much. He was hyper. Like he had too much coffee that morning. Or he had like three Red Bulls. And like it was giving him wings. And he couldn't sit down. But he has music out there. He wants to be taken seriously. And not just be known as Nicki Minaj's ex-boyfriend. So Max is trying to relax at a strip club. Like he tends to do and I guess somebody put it on Instagram I'm like why are you in a trip strip club talking about some hey on Instagram like hey look where I'm at and Brandy I guess she had been stalking him and found out where she where he was so she decides to pop up there this is not what he wants because one he's at the strip club trying to relax and not think about what she did but she's there to talk and She's saying how she did it to impress him. This is why he didn't want to talk to her because she was going to justify why she stole their baby's money. And she did it. I did it to impress you. And he's not mad that she took the money. It was that she lied about taking the money. It's like, I already didn't put that money back into the baby's account. It's not that you took it. It's that you lied about it. And since you did that... I don't trust you so therefore I got my own account and you have your account and they shall never you know mix anymore but she's getting mad and y'all know when she gets to she, she, why are you do, like her mouth is extra wide and then I was thinking hey she did this because she wanted to expand her business you know but she could have went about it a different way hey Let's take, you know, go to Max, like, hey, Max, my online store is doing well. Here's the figures. You know, I would like to take that money from our son and open up a storefront. You know, give him the plan. But then I'm thinking, hold up. If you didn't have, like, the $27,000, and obviously your store wasn't doing too good. Because you didn't make a profit of at least $54,000 your profit from the store so if you didn't even make that to like even if you wasn't even making a profit to where you had your own twenty seven thousand dollars then why are we opening up stores because stores that's gonna be extra money stores you got the rent from the store you have insurance you have electricity you gotta buy the racks for the clothes you gotta buy the hangers for the clothes you gotta get a payroll there's all these things you gotta do that you wouldn't have to do if you just stuck with your online store but you want to be i want to show you and prove to you that i can do some type of things but boo boo you didn't have the money because obviously if your store was doing that well online you would at least had a profit of $54,000 and you could have used your $27,000 to open up this store. See, I wouldn't think about that last week, but I was like, hold up, she could have just gave him a plan, but then I was thinking, obviously, you weren't doing too good because you stole the baby's money. So now, he done took off and she's doing what she always does. She's as she's getting angry and starting to cry, then she just wanna attack folks. But Max, he's just like so like over her right now. It's like I'm not even talking to you. But then she tried to like our son misses you. He's pointing at the door, talking about some da 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 da. See, that's where she was gonna get him at. But he's like, it's not gonna work right now. Like he just don't wanna talk to her. Like bring the baby to my mama's house and you leave, and I'm go over there and spend some time with my son. But like us being in the same room, right? It, together anytime soon is just not gonna happen so mama lyrica and mama pam meet up and i'm going to try to be the most respectful but why is it these women of a certain age that don't have a certain body type or trying to wear clothes they don't need to wear I, i'm like mama lyrica she's in her confessional with this top that like it opens up right at her breast and she's an older woman and her breasts don't sit up like they used to and we got mama pam she's over there in like spaghetti straps and you know she already got a good not judging because i got one too but like why are we wearing clothes that are for people who are younger and have that type of body but mama lyrica she be you know talking down on mama pam yeah 
she already like um so you got your new house and what you need to be doing is moving out and my thing is why did she move across country if she didn't already have a place to stay yes i know your son is in california but you know i would want my own place like why did we move from kansas to los angeles and like she was talking about something, you know, it takes time to get a place. Well, you could have came out to Los Angeles and looked for places doing that before you moved out there. So you're not overstaying your welcome and you're not all up in people's business. It's like the way she was acting like, since this is my son's house, I can act like I want, I can act the way I act at my own house. These two get into it. Then A1 was like, he's trying to get the, get the mamas together because he wanted to give Lyrica a bigger ring. But that didn't turn out well because these two get to arguing because one, Mama Lyrica is being shady and her toast like, a toast to doggone it. What's her name? Mama Pam for getting her a new house. Toast to her. I'm like, you ain't even have to do that. Like, this is a toast. Toast is supposed to be something good. Yes, yeah, it was good that this woman got her house. But you ain't even have to do that. That was uh, totally unnecessary. There needs to get to fighting. And, like, Lyric was like, we can't even come together. Mama Lyric is like, we not family. Because, like, basically, I guess she like, y'all not married yet. And y'all ain't walk down that aisle and said, I do. You do not have that man's last name. We are not family. We're like, saying stuff like that, that's not not helping your daughter out that's just making things worse and for whatever reason she doesn't see it then like the mamas get into it because they both feel that the other one oversteps her boundaries which is totally true because mama lyrica like you always got something to say about your daughter's career she's you're not managing her anymore i know you son with the greatest you son with tina and narisa and all them good people but girl i'm gonna need you to back up like when y'all going somewhere, stay your tail at home because we don't need you in the audience over singing your daughter. And Mama Pam, I'm not going to let you off the off the hook either. When you in somebody's house, you treat them with respect. I don't care if your son's name is on a leaf. I don't care that your son is also on the lease. This is that woman's house. You are a guest. I'm going to need you to act like that. See, these two was getting on my nerves. I was like, when can we have, I guess, out of all, the, all these reality shows, the only mama that don't be acting like that is um, Evelyn Braxton. Well, I guess, you know, this is <laughs> a Mona Scott Young show. So, I guess on Mona Scott Young show, you know, it's a required that, you know, if you're going to be on here, your mom got to be a little bit ghetto because we had Love & Hip Hop New York. We had doggone Jim Jones' mama. Nancy Jones, Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. We had um Lil Scrappy's mama. We had Erica's mama. Love and Hip Hop Hollywood. Now we got these two. I'm like, why is it always the mama owner just acting all kind of way towards the woman that the dog on her son is with? But I'm glad the dog Googled it. A1 got him and his mama. He didn't just be like, yo mama doing, mama lyrical, you don't need me doing it, da 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 da, and just let his mama slide. It's like, mama, sit down. Like, this ain't, this wasn't even what it was about. It's supposed to just come together, and y'all two act like y'all got some sense. Y'all supposed to be the older ones and wisdom and all that good stuff, and y'all over here acting like y'all crazy. Like, we were out in the public, and y'all two were fighting like y'all some teenagers. Like, y'all in high school was a mess like that. So he did like, Mom, you need to just calm down, Mama, calm down. This is not the time or the place for that. Goodness, but I'm glad he did get both of them together because they was getting on my nerves. Um, I didn't like how they're dressing. I'm like, y'all don't have the body for that. See, me, I don't wear stuff that I don't, if I know my body ain't gonna look right in, because there's sometimes, ooh, that looks cute on the hanger. You put it on, like, nah, well, mm -mm, I ain't gonna be able to do that. That's what I was getting from them. Y'all trying to look sexy. Y'all can still look sexy, but for stuff, y'all, that covers you up and you not looking like that. If y'all get what I'm saying, so. Yeah, that was the gist that went on. If I left anything out, by all means, leave a comment or video response. And like I always want to thank my subscribers and the people who watch my videos. I want you to like this video, comment, and subscribe. And share this video with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and here on YouTube. This is Lady T signing off. Have a good one.